Hey everyone, Karen here, and I'm here today to show you how uh, a quick little tutorial on how you can use your little science thinkers and little social studies thinkers hey. units if you are teaching remotely this year via distance learning. So um, you're going to go to your Google Drive. I would suggest maybe making a separate folder for each science unit or each social studies unit. And then you're going to go to new and you're going to go to file upload. So once you click that, what you're going to download in your drive is the PowerPoint that goes with each unit. So let me go back here. I'm going to go to unit one and I'm going to go to the PowerPoint. You won't have all those files, but um, when you do download the file from TPT, you get a zip folder. It has a PDF of the unit plan with all of the lesson plans and things like that. It has the PowerPoint and it also has the PDF with the printable books. Okay, so you're going to upload the PowerPoint. Now what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to open with Google Slides. And this part takes a, takes a few seconds to upload. So once you get that uploaded, it will look like this. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to go, since it's still a PowerPoint right now, you're going to go File, oops, File, and Save as Google Slides. And that'll just take a second to upload for you. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to change the name up here and that's it. You're going to be good to go. So now I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back to my drive. It's going to populate in here. And now, so this is the, the document for the whole unit. So say you wanted to separate this out into lessons because once you do that, then you could assign via your Google Classroom, you could assign each lesson to the kids. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If you right click the Google Slides document, I want you to make a copy of it. And we're going to be making multiple copies of this because what we're going to do is we're going to go in to the copy. So I'm going to open that copy up and I just want to save the slides that go with lesson one. So I'm going to delete all of the other slides. Okay. So I'm going to start at two. I'm going to go down to the end and those are all gone. Okay, so now up here, I'm going to change the name of the file to Science Lesson 1. And that's it. And close that down, and then it's going to change. Now, it will eventually populate so that it has the picture of um, the picture that is here with the Science Lesson 1. It'll say Lesson 1 on there, but it does take a second to populate. So you're going to go ahead and make copies of the original and then do the same thing like we just did for lesson one, but you're going to do it for all of the lessons. So it will take you, um, you know, no more than five minutes to put this all together for the whole unit. And I'm going to go to three to the end and delete. All right, so this is lesson two. All right, and then I can close that. And then that will populate there. Now you'll see, let me go to a different unit. I had a science um, unit two done here. So this is what it would look like. I can delete the PowerPoint. I don't need that anymore. This document right here, the slides document is the whole PowerPoint that's now converted into slides. And then each of these are the types of lessons. So like if you click on it, this is lesson two and it goes through the book. It goes through, um, this is the little game activity that goes with it. So um, you can go through that, the activity, and then it goes through the workbook page and the learning target. So that is how you would use these units and how you would convert them to your Google Classroom. So it really takes probably about five minutes for a whole unit plan um, that you can upload and then convert to your slides document. So I hope this helps. Uh, I will be back again with another tutorial soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.